Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on uh, Beep Street Drumbo, the modular groove box. In this video I'm going to show you how to have uh, some fun and ex experiment with Flexi Sampler and how you can use that to create, um, for example, part of songs or part of beats. So um, this might not be um, for everybody taste, but certainly even if it is from a musical perspective, it should uh, uh, elicit um, um, some interesting ideas on how you can create uh, um, interesting music with Drumbo. So let's start. I'm on the first track and let's uh, add uh, um, a flexi sampler. Let's click on to add a sample and we, here we have a Lala hard sample. Let's um, click on it to uh, hear what it sounds like. Okay, I select it and I click down. As you can see, it appeared there. And we click on the waveform again. Then we go to the edit and we set slices and we scroll down and we detect transients. Now, this works. Sometimes it doesn't work. So in this case, let's set a different slice. Let's make some adjustment um, here, like so. And this other one, let's move it there, like that. And we create another one approximately there, another one something like this, and one last one probably around um, uh, there. Okay, that looks good to me. Now we exit uh, like that and we set the start lines based uh, not on the offset but on based on a random um, settings. So that it will uh, randomly choose which slice to start from the uh, playback. Next, we are going to the keys and we select one key. La, In this la, case, la, la. C2 is fine. And we click a uh, first note on C2 there. And let's click play. La, la. La. As you can say, it will choose, uh, as you can see, it will choose different slices where to start from the playback. Let's make it more interesting. We go on the processor. Let's scroll down and let's add a reverb. La. La, 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 la. Okay, perfect. Now let's have um, let's click and hold on Flexi Sampler so we can copy it. Let's go to the second track and we add uh, and paste to add the same Flexi Sampler, which is good. Then we change the uh, note on the keyboard to, uh, for example. La, la, la. A B flat, okay, like so, and we select and to start not straight away, but after one bit, and uh, so, and then to make it again a little bit more interesting, we add the chorus, and then again the same reverb. So let's click play for both tracks. Okay, let's go to track number three, add and paste the same flexi sampler. This time let's add uh, a delayed effect and also the same reverb effect. We go further down to a G1 and we add a note uh, like so here, so that we have um, the starting of the note phase in a different Point. So let's click play. Okay, now let's go to track number four and we add, um, why not? Uh, let's go under generator, we add a bit of drum kick, so like so. We go to the next track, we add a sampler, a preset, which is factories, nares, and we add it to a second and fourth bit. Then we go to track number six, we go again, add under the sampler um, hi-hats, and which we uh, position like so. So typical hi-hat effect, we reduce also the volume a little bit. Let's click play. <laughs> Okay, let's go to track number seven. Let's click on add. We go to generator at the top, reset for instrument, and let's choose a bass. So, for example, John bass. 
Okay, let's click a little bit of a melody. Let's start with a B flat. So, like so. Then we go to a C1, like so. Now let's click up here and we change the bits in the pattern to eighth so that we now have two pages. So let's go to the second page. Um, and what we're going to do on the second page, we just uh, remove that, leave that one, we put a um, C sharp one. So let's click play. Okay, let's stop here. So hopefully this is giving you some ideas. Of course, so you can change the waveform to something more interesting. For example, instead of being vocals, it could be um, sounds that you produce, for example, also using objects around yourself. So uh, the possibility um, are infinite. So I hope you enjoyed and it gives you uh, some uh, food for thought. See you next time. Bye.